there been there been a lot happening in the rap scene so in much Ghana. Beef. people are especially in Ghana fat. because i think Ghana got, got more rappers than nigeria in terms of rappers in nigeria mm. yes they have rappers lyrical joe our very own oh yeah that guy that, is you know, carrying yo, Ghana. yo 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 <laughs> nigga you can't do Ghana that <laughs> you can't do that and go scot free you can't touch the landlord <laughs> and go scot free no one knows how to brag mm. than how you package yourself as an artist mm. Right, Sakodi has been able to do this over and over again because mm -hmm. he has been able to the point I'm make a brand to. out of himself. The, what uh, Sakodi did, mm. this is a showcase of lyri lyrical dexterity. Yeah. Now I'm assuring you that after this beef, nobody would pay attention to lyrical Joe, lyrical Joe's music again. Okay? On the movie industry, yes, we said that Ghana, we had we, our movie industry was buoyant. Than Nigeria. Than Nigeria. No, no, that anybody no, who said that, that was in life. Ghanaian movies were worshipped, yeah. even in Nigeria as well. And that because is why of some our of English. our top stars... You know, they said our Ghanaian English is beautiful. It's nice. I mean, it's appealing. Today, we have adapted the Nigerian pigeon. Rap in its own nature is meant for beefing. It started mm. way before. That was how the tradition started. Yeah. Okay, guys. Welcome again to the podcast. Yo, <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Charlie, you can yeah. slow down. If I want to rap for this... Relax. <laughs> Yo, before, Charlie, before Makassi, go take a lot has been today. happening in the rap scene in <laughs> Ghana, yeah. Nigeria, you know, in Africa. And I think a lot of people say that, you know, when there is no beef, like in rap, you know, everything is just yeah. slow. Yeah. 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 Boring, so man. they've been, they've been a lot happening in the rap scene so in much Ghana. Beef. People are Especially in Ghana. Fat. Because I think Ghana got, got more rappers than Nigeria. Uh, like, yes, yeah, more yeah, new more rappers. rappers yeah. 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 And uh, I'm, I still have Quinn Classer <laughs> in the building. And Robicon is in the building as well. Robicon know they hear when he say, <laughs> oh. <laughs> he don't believe say Ghana go ever make a hopeless Ghana. <laughs> right. We call him the hopeless Ghana. <laughs> okay, and I have... My usual suspect. suspect in the studio. I'm back. Raheem Snapped is in the building. He's back. back for good. Right. And guys, we are talking about the uh should I should I call it a beef? Because the, the whole thing started some way. Uh Sarkodi had dropped his mixtape or is it EP? Yeah, yeah. No, no, I, he's yet to drop the mixtape. He's even yet to drop. Yeah. So yeah. this is a song out of the EPM. Imagine the, the And entire. it's also it's already causing a lot of confusion <laughs> and havoc. I so mean, much in the, in the challenge. system, and he he calls that the new the new tune brag, and in that tune he was trying to you know, uh, for me that's how I see it, to claim his status in the rap uh, industry in the, in Africa and in the world because I in the lyrics he he was comparing himself to Kendrick and Cole and all yeah. of those people. So <laughs> yeah, guys, we are, we, are, we are about to have a conversation about that you know uh, 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 that issue, and so many people believe that. The, the whole the whole uh, uh, beef thing started from that uh, that that song mm -hmm. yeah where Sarkodie um, made mention of a few uh, top guns in Nigeria mm -hmm. and he sought to I think there was a Ghanaian in the mix too in the mix too yeah, yeah. Luxury. He, he, sought, he sought to tell people that yo he's been doing it for many years and he's still here Way before you know? the but then yeah. I think uh, one of what one uh, Nigerian uh, 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 rapper. Sakode says he he's, he still needs a little bit polishing. Yes, and coaching, yeah. <laughs> you know, so he came I'm up and lady. I understand he signed to the video's record. So he came up and then he didn't understand why Sakode mm. should mention his mm -hmm. boss's name in mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. I mean, trying to claim superiority over him mm. and all of that. So it became a beef. So when the, when the guy is called Dremel, right? Yeah, Dremel. Drizzy Dremel. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So he, he, he came out with a diss song for Sakode. Mm. And then Sakode said he was he still he still he has no you know achievements so he cannot mm. waste his time mm. on him so mm. uh, but then lyrical Joe our very own oh yeah that, that guy you is know yo Ghana. yo 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 nigga you can't do Ghana that <laughs> you can't do that and go scot free you can't touch the landlord and go scot free you know he came rolling with some bars left right center and you know it's 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 been exciting yeah I, I don't know I don't know where you let me start with Robbie Cohen on this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where you sit on this. Mm. I, I don't know whether you've been following the trend. Or oh, yeah, yeah. You know, we, we, mm. we started from, I mean, as yeah, entertainers. Yeah, what? Then yeah, what? We decided to, to just, uh, take you know, another focus. But yeah. but the point is that, I mean, I was listening to Sarko yesterday. Mm. I think I was just passing through uh, on Facebook and I, I saw uh, some reasons he was making us to uh, uh, this whole thing. Mm. And the reasons, you know, Ent entertainment 
it's a it's a it's a very broad area. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And sometimes uh, they say, oh, beefs are part of the system, yeah. and but yeah, I I, I agree to a, a particular extent. But when it gets to another area, I knock it off completely mm-hmm. because we all been talking about sanity. Mm-hmm. But some people say, oh, it's what makes the industry float. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you see. N- uh, like what is ha- what uh, Sha Kodia did? Mm. This is a showcase of lyr- lyrical dexterity, yeah. and and it, it has always been like that. Same thing, uh, Samini told Sha Kodia, he's been there before Sha Kodia mm. came, and Sha Kodia is a small boy. <laughs> <laughs> and and if you look at it, it's true yeah. Yeah. because if you look at the generation uh, Samini, Samini came, came from, from yeah. and he's still there till this time, then you. But Sir Cordier never altered it because he was live in the studio, but he never said anything because he knows yeah, that Samini truth, has also yeah. paid his dues. Mm. Right. Mm. So I, I expect, like, Davido also, Davido mm. has not, I've not heard him in say anything. Publicly yeah. say anything. Yeah. Yeah. Apart from the issue of unfollowing and following and the wrong medical. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, okay. medical, I mean, medical is just way small boy mm, right. in all of these mm. things. Mm. Uh, you can see, I don't know. I'm, I was now looking at medical and then, uh, what's his name? Uh, Davido. Mm. Mm-hmm. Who came first? I think they are all of the same generation. Medical Davido. Oh, yes. Davido came. Yeah, no, Davido, Davido has been. Davido, has been Davido, you know, Davido medical, well, medical started. I mean, it's just that he didn't blow. Yeah. Mm. But medical with the AMG team. I mean, he's yeah, been. He he's been, also he's been. been you know, Davido money pushed him more. Yeah. And though he's a great talent, but money also played a bigger role. Yeah. So mm. if you look at medical, I want to see them at that point. Yes, yeah, Davido mm. started though, mm. but I think money issues. Or financial mm. issues. <laughs> but, uh, we know how medical came on, on to yeah. I mean, how he was. I mean, comparing uh, yeah. uh, how he started. Right. So I believe largely, Davido not speaking believes that he has more better things to, mm-hmm. to focus Do on. Than, yeah. Uh, so if you have a, a system where people are, pl- use, I mean, there's a play of words. Mm. It makes it enjoyable. Yeah. In our in our own side of beefing. It goes to uh, mm. attacks on yeah, parents yeah, and, and all, all of that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But this one is about who is there, who is superior. Yes. Yeah. 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 And, and that is the lyrical dexterity mm. I, I always mm. appreciate. Mm. Yeah. Somebody mm. saying that, okay, Charlie, I've been in this thing and I'm still the one on top. Mm. Yes, it's superiority exposure. I mean, you are exposing. Yeah. I I know very well that Davido, for what we have seen him to be, I don't think he will make a response to anything, even whether his name is mentioned or is not mentioned. Or somebody indirectly is inflicting. If you check the 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 background of Davido, he hardly gets into beefs until this mm. issue about whiskey, whiskey and, yeah. Yeah. and all that. And that, that one is even more like a domestic uh-huh. kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, Nigeria has a way they sanitize their industry. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Look, if they believe that it's going to be good, they call them together yeah. and have it because the industry yeah. is regulated. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it is. Ghana is an open gate mm. platform. <laughs> so that is why you may not find Davido responding. If yeah. I mean responding, if he, if he's attacked, but in this place I don't think he was attacked. No, no. So no I, could, I don't no, think no. he was. Yeah. It's just if somebody says that I've been there yeah. before, it's not an attack. Uh-huh. But any other thing that comes apart of like the way how medical came into the picture and all that, mm. or how the issue also came out, Nigerians hardly would want to respond unless just like the comedy. You know, there's this. Uh, 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 is it Big Mama? Eh? And then dollars, mama dollars. Yeah, yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. See, it became yeah. like it became Nigerians want to see how because the mama dollar, you know that she I mean she's a comedian yeah, already. Yeah, yeah. And then it was beautiful. Yeah. It lasted a while and then it's Went gone. It's gone. Yeah. Yeah. So it probably it wants to be like the way we have made a lot of noise about Ghana and Jollof, mm. Nigeria and mm-hmm, Jollof mm-hmm, kind of thing. Mm-hmm. If it's seen in that way, then you find Nigerians wanting to also showcase. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I, I heard you say something in terms of rappers. Yeah, we got more Niger- rappers. Yeah. I'm, I don't te- I'm telling you. How many not- rappers? How many non-rappers no, no, do, no, do no, you no, know? No. In, Can in you Nigeria. Nigeria. You know why? You know why? I think even when s- I, I saw a screenshot where M.I. came out to say that for Sarko, he agree. Agree says Sarko, he does right. not send that. You've not seen that. No, but Robicon, you're about to say something. I don't want you to say it and make it. Okay, so no, no, no. In terms of rappers in mm-hmm. Nigeria, mm-hmm. Yes. they have rappers. You see, we actually made uh, what, so th- this argument some time ago mm. about South Africa and Ghana. Mm, and then yes. that was how come uh, Sarkozy had this issue with this guy. What's his name? Nasty C. Nasty C. Yeah. Mm. Look, because, the, you know, the style of rap counts and the language counts mm-hmm. right. many a times. Yes. Like Tanzania, like this. Yeah. They have a lot of dope rappers. 
who even rap music can take them even closer to the Grammys? Let's yeah. let's let's. You see, how many how many how many? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. If we are going to you. quantitative, yes. if we are going to numbers, mm. I am telling you that they have more numbers. Oh, but them. you see, yeah. Yeah. but you what see, yeah. we cannot ones. just. Oh, about no. Okay, you apart see, from yeah. Sarkozy, yeah. my my point. You are here in Ghana, so you can mm-hmm. easily my, mention mm, them. Mm, mm, mm. My 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 point. Nigeria. Is, yes. They Nigeria, probably they can only they mention Sarkozy. You see, yeah, bro, that is what I'm just telling you. Bro, are you sure? Bro, some of their rappers, because if there is a beef and we are saying Hold that, we have one. How many Nigerians have you met that they can't mention their rappers? How many Nigerians have you met? After after this beef, I mean emergence surface. Bro, let me let me let me make a point. Let me make a point. You see, Nigeria. Let the former rapper. Nigeria is, a, is a exporting something, and that's Afrobeat. Yeah. No, so they are known for that. Just of recent times. Yes, yes, but if you look at the inter- international platforms where rappers are basically known, mm-hmm. you have had more Ghanaians pass through that than Nigerians have. Let's talk of Team Westwood. Mm-hmm. How many Nigerians can oh, no. you count mm-hmm. that have passed you there? You Anybody see? that passes there to rap is an Afrobeat. Yeah. I saw his yeah. video you passing see, through that, and then he rapped. Team Westwood. Eh? Yes, I think I was having uh, this conversation with DJ Mess sometime when we were. Yeah. Look, you see. The platform started in a particular way, introducing rappers. Yes. You see, the Nigerian export, where you talk about their concentration currently, yes. has not given limelight to the rappers because of what pays more. Yes, true. You get it. Truth. If you go to South Africa, the rap music until the Zulu music, where we have turned into the Afro, mm. Afro beat, you realize that rappers in South Africa are more millionaires. Yes. Until the Zulu came. So if you like so I called the issue with uh, Which one is uh, Zulu Ama Piano? I'm a piano. No, I'm a piano. piano. Look, if you if you get if you want to base rappers in South Africa, mm. you don't even mention Ghana. At all. That's the fact. But you see in Nigeria, no, because the concentration has gone to the Afrobeat. That's why maybe this lady can say that oh uh, uh, the known rappers. Nigeria has a population of about 300 million people. No, but they still and I'm telling you, so we did the same thing last time. You see, you see, on the see, movie see, industry. Yes, you see. This yeah. was what we did on the. Let me just learn on. Okay. On the movie industry. Yes. We said that Ghana, we had we, we, our movie industry was buoyant. Than Nigeria. Than Nigeria. No, no, that anybody no, who said that, that was a lie. No, 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 no. Anybody who said that was a lie. Or maybe somebody said it. I'm coming. I'm coming. No, I'm talking not in recent times, so. Right. I'm only telling you mm. how these old things started. No, but it has never when, been. No, it has. I mean, even Ghana when movie, it comes to music, eh, when movie. it comes, you know that we were, we were topping. We were. Yeah, we so, were. So the time so TikTok we and Co. When yes. uh, even uh, Don Jazzy yeah. did uh, mm-hmm. this TikTok Kangaroo, this mm-hmm. yes, Tony yeah. Tetuile and Co. Yes. Today, music they have overtaken us. Yeah. The movie industry, Ghanaian movies were worshipped. Yeah. Even in Nigeria as well. And that because is why of some English. of our top stars... You know, they said our Ghanaian English is beautiful. It's nice. I mean, it's appealing. Today, we have adapted the Nigerian pigeon and even want to, inf- to fuse it into yeah, our... Okay, movie. I was only refusing so, that fact so, because growing up... You were always <laughs> close to Nigerian movies. <laughs> no, my mother's deck and everything had the, the, Nigerian no, movies. No, no, Ghana was doing movie. very well. Yes. That was how Nadia Buari and Co. and I mean, yeah, uh, uh, Nancy and Co. All, all of them all became very Nigeria, popular. Yeah. Because but you see, they, at, they at that time, you could pair them with uh, top Nigerian stars to like, you take Nad, uh, Nadia you Buari, you go no, with but those uh, were quite old, Omotola, then you, you take know, okay. uh, uh-huh. whoever, you go Ramzi Noah and all of that. So you see, they even had more popular people. No, they came and lifted the industry from the hands of Ghana. Then Ramzi Noah and Co., with so maybe you are talking the time boy. before I was uh-huh. born. Oh, no, no, no. no, no. <laughs> How old am I? But the, but the, the, the point is that yeah. me, on this music thing, on this uh, rap thing, yeah. Sarkodie, he's been, he stood the test of time. Mm-hmm. Nobody can take that of away. Course, yeah. Of course, that's, that's, That has always it's been done my very well. Yes. Mm-hmm. But when it comes to the rap music, you can actually count a number of people and you will sit and enjoy him because you understand his flow. And the, the 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 style he adapts, you know, Kofi Kinata was one of the persons they say he's the best rapper in Ghana, mm. until he ad- I mean abandoned that side and he's into he's singing, singing yeah. because <laughs> it depends on which particular industry pays. I mean the particular genre or style, the industry pays attention to market demand. Market demand. So if you go to Nigeria. That, those times that t- the Tony Tetuele and Co came and then they went to the right, uh, Idris Abdul Karim and Co. Yeah. All of these guys were dope rappers. Algeria, Until Jaga, they, Jaga. they just decided that Charlie, this is what peace. So we, we they all move into the singing. Mm. Either than that, if you look at their punch lines and what they were, they, I mean, uh, what's it called? African China and Co. 
they 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 turn their rap style into singing. No, but that that that, that is that is why we are saying that, and we we have a lot more focus in rap. That's no, we, we are not focused in rap. Oh, we, so we, oh, the, we the have music that makes mm-hmm. Sarkozy blow. Mm-hmm. Even the Azonto music. Mm-hmm. They are Azonto music. You know, Sarkozy, when he did Boga Boga, I mean, mm-hmm. that kind of yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. You see, that particular chorus was very catchy. Yes. Today, I can remember the chorus. I can't remember the raps. The rap. mm-hmm. Right. Because they said when you have a good hook, repeat it often. And that will sell your, your content. And that is how, what, what <coughs> So happened. is your point that Ghana, Ghana doesn't no, have... My point is that more when it comes to Nigeria. that point, no, I don't. I don't. I don't. I would not want to believe that. Okay, let, let me. Let but me I, I believe that Sarkozy is a good material. Mm. He's competitive globally, and that is why you would even have the global gigs. I heard him talking about uh, his. Col- I mean, some collaboration that was supposed to come with Rihanna mm. and all that, mm. and why certain things uh, couldn't have happened and all mm. that. You see, he has managed his brand well because he got to a point and slowed down in the featuring thing. It would have made him useless mm-hmm. if he was featuring almost every time. Mm. People wouldn't. I mean, he would have. All right. Uh, let, let's 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 let me let me come to uh, <laughs> uh, 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 snapped right. Usual you, 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 you suspect. Right. What is your initial take on the whole thing? How like you know? Okay. First of all, I think just as I, just as he said, the whole conversation or the whole uh, uh, song was just about Sarkozy's relevance in the industry. Like I miss even you know other. You know, great, great um, um, artist, but he has been in the system for a long time and he's still relevant. Okay. What is this one? Crap. Fi- people made it a beef. Mm, and, and it has brought all of so, those things. Yeah. So when I first saw the link, mm. I saw the title brag. So mm-hmm. I knew landlord, mm. landlord was, going to, yeah. was going to do this on on it. Yeah. So I downloaded, then I started listening. Till the end of the song, I didn't see any reason for beef to with come anybody mm. else. But then when Dremo responded yeah. and the issue about this person has done this, there's mm. beef and all of that came up. I was like, okay, yeah, Dremo probably would have a point. But is that what Sarkozy was looking at doing? Yeah. Mm. Was he trying to let the world know that he's much better than these people or he was just making a point that no, they are at a level he was in the game before they did. Who is getting what's wrong and what is going wrong? But then I realized that rap in its own nature is meant for beefing it started mm. way before that was how the tradition started yeah. there were two gangs against each other two individuals against each other so that is what would actually make rap feel like rap someone will show their powers another yeah. person will come in and let you know that okay your words are not much more thicker yeah. than mine so this is what and then all that the beef has come to has made everybody know another rapper uh-huh. lyrical joe uh-huh. mm. this guy is good everybody paid attention to him but this beef has actually brought out another Angle of him that has gotten everybody to pay attention to him. Now I'm assuring you that after this beef, nobody would pay attention to lyrical Joe, L- lyrical Joe's music again. He has released music music after certain beefs. People are not listening to it. If you go to YouTube, the videos he did a song with Kwame Uji. I don't think th- th- that song is is oh, but popular. The song is great. Level, the song eh? is, is good. It's a very good song, but mm-hmm. it's not being popular popularized like the beef songs are now. I don't know if I'm making sense. Mm-hmm. People are paying attention to lyrical Joe. Probably you know it because you are a pundit. No, because the point also, is that anytime there are mm-hmm. beefs, people go into historical, I mean, To files. see who this so, yeah. person is. Look, right. Uh, so that's what I'm saying. Black Rasta is you like this. Mm-hmm. Made him get a lot more following on YouTube and people accessing to know, oh, this who is uh, Black Rasta? Guy, who is this guy? Yeah. What are his songs? And somebody can stream all his songs. Just because they want to know whether oh, he's good or not. Mm. Yeah. So that particular song, like if clubs play, yes. because that song is, is is clean. Very. And and I think that is 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 he's fa- but, it's but a fan- point You know he had you an, an earlier person. beef. Yes. That's with, what I'm saying. Uh, Amarado, eh? yes. Mm. yes. So you are a music person. That's why you know the a song that one. much. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure Queen Classy would know the song that much. Maybe hey. she just listen to it on. Uh, no, you are you are, you are a radio <laughs> person too. I'm, I know what what I'm. No, you may, don't get me wrong, please. Mm, okay. What I'm trying to say is that. Uh, Probably you follow uh, Lyrical Joe personally because you know he's no, a me, good rapper. No, me, I hardly follow rappers these days. Okay, so then let me talk for myself. <laughs> <laughs> I am a rapper and I follow Lyrical Joe a lot. Okay. So I I like him for both sides, yeah. mm. for his commercial music because I see sense, I hear sense in it and then for his beast parts too mm. where he goes raw and all of that. 
and there's so much sense in that too but other people let's say people go to the club and then the song is played they just listen to Kwame Eugene's part and then they don't want to pay attention to and for me I, I think it's, it's, it's just beyond the the art is is sorry the, the art good so I'm it's getting to that to let you know you, why as, as you said earlier on how you how you package yourself as an artist mm. Right, Sarkozy has been able to do this over and over again because mm -hmm. he has been able to the point I'm make getting a brand to. out of himself. The point I'm getting to. You get it. So today, that, is, that is the, the biggest challenge. Today, people use social media so much to yeah. promote their music. When you go on TikTok, you have a part of a song yeah. that is used for yeah. Yeah. challenges. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that part would actually sell the songs. Yeah. Now, you, Sarkozy would consciously make sure his rap part is what would make the song blow. Mm. Yeah. Not someone else's. Yeah. Yeah. It's intro so, so, or something. So there's a lot of work but that we, we, we cannot have that said for lyrical jokes probably. If you if you if you if you if you if you've taken, if you've noticed recently Amrado have been doing a lot of singing. like singing TikTok yeah. and all of the yes. so sometimes it just goes beyond what you think the people want. Do, do you know Amrado is a great rapper? Oh, he yeah. is. <laughs> but you see the the rap thing didn't take him anywhere. Yes. He's now into singing. Yes. I heard I him run an interview. He's still he's still no, he he he's still rap. <laughs> no, 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 I'm saying yeah, that yeah. he's a great rapper. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, uh, so that's what I was saying like, about Lyrical Joe uh, would not be heard again after this. Like Kofi Kinata. Like Kofi Kinata. When, when uh, Samini was introducing mm. Kofi Kinata, at that time, I think we have Foresight TV. Yeah. Mm. And, and in the intro, you realize that the, Kofi Kinata complained that no, his only problem is getting chorus. I mean, getting the chorus for songs. Yeah. If he has good chorus, he would fly and, and, and put the, uh, I yeah. mean, uh, rapping into it. I think Samini managed, you, you know, Samini was equally a rapper. <laughs> yeah. So when, when, when uh, they, I mean, took him through to sing independently. And people, um, today, only a few people can tell you that Kofi Kinata, uh, Kinata was a rapper yeah. or he's a rapper. The same thing I see in Amirado, for instance. So if you have Lil Kak Joe, who, who has not adapted a strategy to, I mean, med with what yeah. he can do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Ghanaian market is not ready for rapping yet. Unless you are a rapper, you make a collaboration. Yeah. Then you realize that your music can be out there. You know, those days, people come in groups. And the groups were that you have a rapper and a singer, singer. Mm -hmm. becoming a group. That's yeah. how we came with R2Bs. Yes. People, some are singing. Even though, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, Gogome, who is now, uh, what's it called? Mugis. <laughs> Was a rapper, yeah. but he is very good in the singing, singing as well. Yeah. So he realized that they've been able to move along with it because the Ghanaian market in rapping, Sarkozy is only lucky that if you look at uh, the system that elevated him more was the Azonto period, yeah, and the kind of style of beats that he jumped onto. It brought, Sarkozy is a fantastic rapper. He's able to do word play. Yeah. So with the word play, the Azonto was able to push him to this level. Now, if you look at how many of his songs became hit songs? Like this one that he released, only rooted industry people can have a conversation on it. Yeah. Right. Not go not on the streets. Mm -hmm. Only you have attention to rap music or the music industry, then you get to hear. But to talk about it being a hit, it is not. No, it's not. Uh -huh. So you compare to his previous you see E L and Co. now yeah, where yeah, they, because yeah. already you know. The rap thing, no. though EL and Co made good use of the Azonto yeah, period, yeah. today, there's a different genre that you have to take your time and do it unique. You can bring out a song and somebody will tell you that you, you have stolen my song. <laughs> it's not because you've heard the person before. Yeah. But it's because the industry, everybody's thinking. So okay. everybody just hears a hook be and say, oh, Charlie, make a do song. Make a <laughs> jump into this beat. <laughs> And it come out. They yeah. say, oh, you have stolen my song. Okay, yeah. all right. Classy, classy. Yeah. Let, 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 me, let, me, let, me, let me get your initial thoughts on the whole uh, thing. Initial at this stage. Because <laughs> you well, guys were hard. You hard talk more. You had jacked the time. <laughs> uh, the thing is, uh, when I heard the song, brag, mm. just just uh, knowing Sarko there for what he is, uh, when he wants to brag about himself mm -hmm. oh my goodness no <laughs> no one knows how to brag mm. than sarkody and so i was so excited about it uh when i heard it i listened to the song i was like i was like okay whatever it is what dremo the part dremo mm. took offense to and then responded to mm. isn't it a fact it's a fact mm. is it not a fact it is. it is a fact he was here when uh um Davido and then uh, mm. what's his name? Whiskey mm. and all of that. I mean, we're all struggling coming to Ghana to tap into Asha and then go back and then make it happen. So it was a fact. I don't know what 
what prompted uh, what was his name Dremel to respond to Sarko. Either ways, it was good. I like the fact that it it, it took a different turn from this Ghana Jollof Nigerian Jollof. It looks like that was the only uh, <laughs> uh, competition from uh, within within the countries. You know, so I was actually excited about that. And listening to listening to Dremo, I was like, okay, we're talking about some famous uh, rappers. Mm. I, I also uh, Files came to mind. I don't know yeah, if you say his name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Files, Files came the to mind. Guy. I was like, okay, okay, there's, there, there's Files as well. <laughs> you know, so I am just happy. And you okay. see, one unique yeah. thing that this has actually changed my perception about this mm. Ghanaian music scene is the fact that uh, it, it, it brought some unity. You know, within the uh, the the artists yeah, and the, the guy, yeah, yeah, you get it yeah. because they are like, okay, Dremel will not let you Dremel, disrespect yeah. our landlord like that. So we will not allow you to do that because who are you? That was how medical came in with all the mm. tweets and mm. you know uh, medical unfollowing him and he blocked <laughs> uh, uh, Davido unfollowing him yeah. and then he mm. blocked. So I think that was a beautiful thing but to I, see I that people. Are you guys sure that it was because of medical street? Because medical never mentioned Davido. No, 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 it was after the tweet. Talking. It was after the tweet that. that that's what I'm saying. <clears throat> yeah, so we, we, so we can't, so we can't after say the unfollowing categorically. That's after the unfollowing, mm. medical retweet uh, put up yeah. another tweet yes, saying that, that just, uh, talking about loyalty mm. to suggest that it's because if you are unfollowing me, then let me block so maybe you that's because, why he, because I'm, I'm, I'm a loyal from, person. We've not heard from the video. That's why he thinks. Would, would we? Okay, yeah, that's what. So he yeah, thinks. yeah. So so because. Of that, we are also basing our arguments on that. Based on that, because yes. we've not heard to, from the video, the video and yes. it's just around the same period this mm -hmm. is happening. That he, I'm not he saying that, that that is not that that may not be, but then okay. we can't just say categorically that that was the reason why the video unfollowed him. But wait, th there's one <laughs> okay, thing I want. Yeah. I, I don't know what you people mm -hmm. think. Mm -hmm. Is it okay for Sarkozy to reply him or not? To no, reply to Dremo? Yes. But he said no, he's not. He's not. No. He hasn't, he hasn't, so, ah, people, people in Ghana have been beefing Sarkozy, and he doesn't reply. Nobody from Like Dremo said, he replied. An actress, uh, if one <laughs> else says so, he has to. No, no, that he, has to do with said, his brand and image. Oh, that really has to do. Oh with no, Sarah wants so. to release a project. Yes, so he, he understands it. So to, that's what I'm thinking. Mm. Lyrical Joe and Co are not doing the work for him. They are doing it for themselves. Mm. Yes, mm. they are tapping so into it. So for him to keep but his so shine, new dreamer. Now we all know dreamer. Uh, okay, yeah. no, that, that's a fact. Especially okay, so, in Ghana, a lot of people didn't know him that much. If now, I didn't know him yeah, at well, all. Well, I've been having two thoughts about this, like yeah. reply, reply, but not for your own dignity and this. And no, no, he no, shouldn't. He should, Honestly speaking, if he should reply, it on, would it would kill the the, the anticipation for the mixtape. Trust mm, me, mm. it would it would kill the anticipation for the mixtape. No, but right but now, I think it's Lyr one Lyrical of Joe has done the job already. So over done the job. So yeah, it's hard that's, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm getting to. I think if Sarkozy even releases a song, it would not be as powerful as Lyrical Joe. He made that thing. He made that for before. Let's talk about being lyrical. I think Joe has it more than more than Sarko. Sarko the guy Are you is sure? like no no no. Have you listened to beefs has done? See the guy. No. The guy. See when I heard the first song to Dremo, I was like wow. The second one, the wow, my mouth, my mouth was wider than <laughs> the first wow. Just as, just and as, the third, as he said third earlier, I think uh, lyrical Joe has been underrated for like yeah. years. Because yeah. yeah. if you listen, when you listen to the lyrics, the guy, oh, yeah. I know. Words, yeah. mm. I, it's just, yeah. I, it's just up there. Uh, it, it mean, will take you a second to understand Joe, what like what lyrical Joe strong man it, it, manifest. Yo, These yo, are rappers yo, yo. Who, who are great. No, but I think, I think we'll manifest. Manifest also came in small. We're making a mistake. Yeah, yeah. Those I don't see how comparable mm. they are. Mm. Somebody who raps in Chi, mm. someone is in English. English yeah. No, but sometimes how could they drops records in no, English? No, how the English rap is not there. Uh, good. Look, you so, see, eh? Mm. So, you see the reason why Amerado is dope mm. is because of the Chi. Uh, what's the name? Uh, Strongman Ben, equally the same. The reason why you see that Lyrical Joe may not be up there in terms of the rap lyrical dexterity is that he raps mostly oh, in English. English. Yeah. Yeah. He's rather little, up there. So, no, no, no. no, so what no, I'm no, saying no, is uh, lyrically, uh, no, 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 not no. being known, but uh, uh, no, no, uh, yes. because when it comes to dex dexterity, oh, no, 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 you can't compare oh, no, no, no. No, not the dexterity, he's no, no, talking about that. But the issue is that yeah. someone rapping in English, yeah. you know Sarkozy at a point and they say he couldn't uh, rap in English, so he had to challenge. The thing about lyrical Joe is that 
he's only good in the English rapping. Mm, mm, mm. Sometimes he forced to add some features. Yeah. Mm, but mm, it's, okay. uh, I mean, that he's not known mm, for. Mm. That's why it was very bad for him to beef someone who is rapping in tree. Mm. Because in tree, because it's the local language, you can mm. use all kind of jargons mm. and then yeah. Yeah. people, people say, oh, relate this guy yeah. people relate it, yeah. Yeah. So, Sir yeah. Kodye yes. is the same. That is why you realize that M.I., who raps in English, if he wants to uh, beef with mm. Sir Kodye, mm. you as a Ghanaian will rather worship Sir Kodye than M.I. M.I. But M.I. is a dope rapper. Mm-hmm. Very dope. Mm. Look at uh, Ice Springs. Mm-hmm. Yes. He's a clean rapper. Mm. But they would want to do it. If they want to go in Pigeon, I'm telling you, you will flow. Mm. Because the Pigeon language, both countries will hear. Yeah. Yes. And then the Pigeon language has a lot of jargons, even more than the tree, the if tree. I'm not mistaken. The tree is only understood by people mm. within Ghana. Yeah. Mm. So if you, are, if you want to be an international artist, then you must be ready to use a common language. Mm. So that is why Lyrical Joe, Joe right now, in Nigeria, people can make sense Out with what he's saying. Yeah. So if somebody in Nigeria want to be such a person, then we can make mark the script. Th- that was actually one of the one of the the the, the things uh, Dremo said in his mm-hmm. uh, his this song. Mm. He told Sarkozy to speak to rap in English. <laughs> <laughs> so so they, don't uh-huh. yeah. they don't understand the language uh-huh. because the see, language is very important. So see, I, when I want to do comparison with rappers, I factor in the language. If you take strong man and compares with Amerado, I would want to listen to mm. them. When uh, uh, Sarkozy. And the manifest were to rap. You see, a uh, manifest was purely in English. Mm. Yeah. And when you you can read manifest as an international rapper. Rapper. Yes. yes. He can compete even at the. And grand. I think yeah. same for lyrical too. Uh-huh. So if you look at it, so it, it didn't fit properly. So Sarkozy at some point in time was also pushing to bring the English more than the tree, but it wasn't working because we know you for who you <laughs> oh, are. Yeah. Uh-huh. So you realize that it was not a good match. It's just like I'm insulting you in Dagbanli. You don't understand Dagbanli. So it will not flow. <laughs> so those kind of beefs, people should, I mean, musicians must watch who you beef. Okay. Yeah. You may be as good as anything, mm. but if you choose the wrong language to beef, mm. you expose yourself. Mm. Look at, that was what happened with, with, with his beefing. No? And it didn't go well. Because you will be very good. Please get your match. So if I'm, 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 I'm a rapper, then you rap in a particular local language. Even if you attack me, I will not respond. Yeah. I, I, there's no way I can respond. That's why you may realize that some rappers in uh, Nigeria will not want to uh, rap in mm. battle with mm. Sarkodie. Mm. Yeah. Uh, because Sarkodie, with his wordplay, is able to uh, chip in with the English more, mm. bring the tree more. Yeah. So if you look at his song with even P Square, then you realize that, no, what he's doing, he was concentrating on the Ghanaian market. A rapper like your Faust guy. Mm, Faust the you see how it goes. <laughs> Faust is one, but one, yeah. one individual who is rated very high yeah. in Nigeria yeah. as a great yeah. rapper. Mm. And when he's doing very, a feature, very creative. And, and yeah. now you see the plans that the Nigerians are going. They are going traditional music. Yeah. yeah. Many of them are going traditional yeah. because the traditional instruments are what the white people are looking for. Yeah. That is why they are. They can feel the O twos and other things, and we can. Mm. We there, we still use the fruity loop. I mean, uh, fruity <laughs> loop to do mm. beats. Mm. Yeah. Somebody sits in the studio, just put guitar and this. And that's why I said our guys here are noise makers. And some <laughs> people don't always understand mm. because the Nigerian guys they can go to a traditional <laughs> festival and record those sounds, sounds mm. yeah. bring them into the studio. studio. Ah, why? When was the last time you had a uh, flavor drop a song that is like mm. the normal? Mm. This the music we know. Yeah. They are. I, I heard this guy, what's, your, what's his name? K, uh, KC. Mm-hmm. He said, no, he has now gone traditional. <laughs> because, and you see, those ones are now making headway on yeah. TikTok. Yeah. Yeah. Because people are jumping onto them because they are selling a cultural diverse, I mean, a cultural angle of what they can do. Mm-hmm. So they have fused the, the, the normal uh, 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 computerized beats with their own tradition. Now, if you go on to most, people are buying them. Yeah. As, I mean, buying the softwares. They put them, the kicks, all of them. They call it the plugins. drums. Uh-huh, yes, they put all the, those things into. The, I mean, as samples yeah. that people buy, mm. and then make use of it. Now you see that somebody is playing. I mean, they are now creating the drums. The whites are now playing, mm. yeah, making the drums Drum. where you can, uh, as a DJ, you are. Is those they got those all those kicks from those traditional instruments? Mm. Ghana has not explored to that angle. 
what is known is what we we know but we can has always been like that we will, we will have the resource and then they will come and pick us up so look at look yeah. at we have our long sea and all yeah. that yeah. i'm telling you i think pj one time i was telling him that he's oh i mean this is something they can do you can develop your own kicks you can yes. develop your own samples yes add them to what you, and you see that your big will o- be to always stand look stand out, yeah. sometimes most of our guys here who play music i have a software on my laptop put the song there it that beat will be married to another instrumentation mm. it means that it's a copyright, copyright matter yeah. yes. uh-huh, but we are comfortable mm. so that's why i said that before you beef you don't use a sampled beat somewhere <laughs> to beef somebody <laughs> uh-huh. when yeah. people go to the scripts then you see that there will be some kind of exposure that yeah. will not be brilliant but i think that largely nigeria has gone away for in the movie in the music but no, there are numbers like you said earlier mm-hmm. plays a big yeah, the market the market is big yeah, yeah, very it does. It's huge but, but, but and nigeria is everywhere and they, everywhere the, the numbers are plenty now oh, and they, they support they their own that's one thing we don't have here the support no it, it's not like our ca- character they don't have some in nigeria they have You see they themselves are complaining most of them are even dying i mean when when yeah. when uh, what's the call mm. one is sick they don't help, help and all yeah. that those things are there but i agree perfectly 100% that their support is more than the negative no that happens yeah, yeah. like an artist is sick or somebody is sick then maybe it has not come to the attention of the public yes they will all rope and go and support yes. for their own well, image exactly and then the art, actors guild or the music uh, uh, rights uh, authorities mm-hmm. are equally concerned in one way or the other no yeah. not that they are 100% yeah but the support base they are giving to yeah. their people look nigeria with their laws and rules if we had some here in ghana to protect our industry oh, we will go have, places yeah. look in nigeria they told <laughs> that okay maybe probably every media house must play 60% or 80% local local yeah. mm. So if you are a radio presenter you sit down there you can play a lot of foreign music. Mm. So even if they tell you that play 80% Nigerian content. That you have no business even playing foreign because yeah. you even forget about yeah. it. Yeah. So you are forced to consume your own products. Okay. Even that's why Ga- uh, Ghanaian musicians mm. are having problem. Mm. Oh Nigeria you mm. take I mean you struggle to promote they, they even their own songs they've not finished playing. They mm. can they play Ghanaian songs. Mm. So I think that if we have such regulations. Right. Mm, within our system it helps but okay. the thing i'm saying about the supporters you have a top yeah, person in Supporting nigeria a less. like uh, i've used this example so many times um Ma- Ma- maven records their boss uh, don jazzy, don jazzy. Don jazzy. Mm. you have him featuring in all these skate makers their yeah, videos yeah, yeah. for basically nothing and in the end if an artist of his releases Reduce, a song releases you have these song. skate yeah. makers also popularizing Popularize the yeah. song So he has made them popular. Mm-hmm. They've gotten to a stage where now he uses them yeah. to also Yeah. All right. Make his no, then, then, I think, then I think this particular uh, uh, topic is important. We are expanding it. It's not like we are deviating. Mm. It's expansion. You see the issue here is that this support base I have said it over and over for a very long time that we hardly support one another. Yes. And that is why we are where we are. Yes. Now somebody can jump and say loyalty when you don't understand that. <laughs> Look, you are talking Don Jazzy and he's come a long way. Yeah. Even when he started when he was creating beats for Ghanaian musicians yeah. like Tic Tac Kangaroo and all, he created that beat. Right. Only a few people knew that he was the one that created that beat. And the song was all over the place. You see, there are some people with their glory mm. or blessings be you cannot fight. Yeah. Anything the person touches gold. Yeah. So when you identify Look, why did uh, uh, this girl take a big bottles go there? What's the name? Haji, Haji Abintu. Abintu. They embrace almost everybody. Yes. Mm-hmm. Because they don't know what new you are bringing to yeah. them. Yes. So they will taste to see what do you have to offer. Nigerian artist, uh, an underground skate maker can get a legend to support him to do a yeah. skate. Yeah. Flavor was just giving thanks to Pete Odochi, who is a legend in the game, the highest paid actor in Nigeria. When he just went to him and said, oh, "I want to you to feature in my video." He said, "Oh, when is it? I'll come." And but the day they were doing you know, that, he was very shocked that Pidoro they drove him. He just drove himself and came. After he did that, he said, "Oh, how much?" He said, "Oh, no, no, no." Yes, you have Kanayo, Kanayo yeah. doing same for the boys. Same, you exactly. Know, but, yeah. you know, but you see, uh, even look at our own northern uh, region. Hmm. 
Boys who have not even gotten <laughs> anywhere. They said they are superstars. Even their younger ones can no longer even say, oh, come and help me, mm. collaborate no. with me, and they'll mm. do it. No. Yeah. You see some of them embarrassingly who have no talent, but we are just celebrating nonsense. And then they will be telling people that, oh, me, if I want to feature, unless 5,000. Meanwhile, he is nobody. <laughs> and you see, God will not take your talent from you, but mm -hmm. he will raise people to be more than you. Yeah. Yes. God doesn't give you something and take it back. Mm. If he gives it to you and you are misbehaving, you will still have that talent, yeah. but he will make sure he raises him down to be more than yeah, you. Yeah. Right. That is what people don't understand. So if you have all these artists who are supporting, look, with the population they have, education has become like it is a no-go area. If you can school and come out, you don't have a job. Mm. So they have taken into skate making. Yeah. Then you know what happened. In Nigeria, they banned Ghana and Nigeria at the same time from the uh, international market in terms of, I mean, you know, we can use uh, PayPal in Ghana. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Nigeria has actually, they've had their yeah, okay. DS revoked. Mm. That you can make money on the internet in Nigeria. That's why most of them are jumping into skate making. Mm. Yes. And today they are buying cars, they are buying all Houses. those things from. Facebook oh, pays no. more than any, yes. more than TikTok. As I sit down, I monetize my Facebook page because I think the last time it was $16. I got. It gets, to, but the rules are very much dicey. Mm. Most of them are into uh, that because they are getting a lot of money from it. As I sit down right now, I, when I just I posted some because me I had I can't go live because I'm the shy type. I can't go live. You are a shy type. <laughs> <laughs> I can't go live, but I would just carry people's videos and put on my TikTok, and I have over five hundred dollars because of that. But I don't even have following. Who knows me? In TikTok, they are making a lot of revenue from it. They go live. They do a yeah. lot of skits and plays there and monetize them. Maybe the video we are doing here, if we put it there and it's monetized, the revenue that it can generate. People, look, Mark Angel, we are told that, yes, he's the highest, highest yeah. on YouTube, over $4 million. Wow. This, yes. this is what they are making. So you realize that you become by force talented. Mm. <laughs> yes, <laughs> because talented. everybody is thinking, what will I do? That? Because if you yeah. put it, if, if you steal somebody's content, they can easily detect, mm, detect it. it yeah. Yeah. This guy, uh, Sabinus, did a, this, uh, a, a video, I mean, a skit. Mm. And one of the comedians said, you stole my content. Because he has posted a similar one and you also did a different version. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you realize that there's Sabinus and Co, what is their education level? Mm -hmm. But here's the case. They are now the millionaires mm -hmm. in Nigeria yeah. because they make sure they post content every day. Yeah. You ask somebody, now it began like a profession. I'm a content creator. Yeah. Yeah. Facebook by force created a slot for content creation. Sure. You see that the, what are you? What is your profession? Yeah. Content creator. All right, it has guys. become <laughs> an avenue. Mm. So I All think right. that we must... Mm. We mm. must try to, I mean, utilize our entertainment. You mm. can't call it on entertainment until it starts paying you. Yeah. Mm. If you say that it's show based, it must start paying you mm. at some point mm. in time, legitimately. Yeah. And right, we must right, also try right. to support each other. 